More vehicles like this Jeep Grand Cherokee are using diesel, as it's much more fuel efficient and new processes are making it cleaner. There's been a lot of hope for biodiesel, but like ethanol, many of the biological sources are now food-based. But a Detroit area company has a new idea, and it's based on soap. Stone soap and Sylvan Lake, for the most part, make soap for car washes. But some soap is based on animal fats and plant matter that is not used in food. And Executive Vice President Steve Stone says he's found a new system for making biofuel. Okay. These are the three approaches. Our industry takes vegetable oil, reacts it with an alkali, and what do we get? We get soap. The current biodiesel industry takes the very same vegetable oil, reacts it with alcohol, and they get current or what we call old biodiesel. We're taking the next step. We're reacting the vegetable oil with natural gas, and we get a hybrid new biodiesel. It's the natural gas that makes it work, in crude layman's terms, injecting energy into material that really hadn't been adequate before for use in biofuels. Uh, now Stone Soap is working with two other companies on this process. Stone claims it could actually make a fuel that's a dollar a gallon cheaper than today's biodiesel and gets about another three to four miles per gallon. He says that's because natural gas is still plentiful and the plant and animal material they would use comes from non-food sources. In fact, in many cases, it comes from waste sources. Now, the next step is to try to convince oil companies and car companies that this process is viable. Stone says it's not been easy so far, but he says the car companies have been more willing to listen to him than the oil companies. That is why they hired a PR firm to try to get the word out. Can't tell right now if this type of fuel will ever get into mass production, but Stone says many of the great inventions in the past have come from unexpected places. I'm AutoBeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.